very strong is blocking my way. Uh, something around the fear of losing myself totally. Yeah, I think that's where, as I was describing, service you know, is, is a very helpful way to strengthen in the awareness of your true identity as spirit. And it's, it's very helpful to have these strengthening experiences because then when you do have a contrast experience, when there's darkness arising or there's a, a surrender and forgiveness, then there's also an awareness of the spirit that's there as well. So I think that's a, a, helpful, um, a helpful direction for your mind is to just keep being in prayer around the desire to be truly helpful, the desire to be of service to the spirit, you know, and trusting that that will continue to wash like an association that you have with the mystical as being dark or being fearful. Because some of the, the loosening experiences, there is fear that comes up. Um, but they're not always fearful and so I think just also having that like the contrast experience of the simplicity of the joy of being of service can be a helpful direction I've jumped to that because the notion is, I, I know the notion, I, I, I already jump into this service mm -hmm. I, in a community, it was, but it was just, just I was there, I, I was doing whatever I could, like this notion of karma yoga, you know, the service, uh, and s something was still uh, not right. Yeah, it does, it does just take a lot of washing and welcoming, you know, and allowance and, and sometimes patience is required. And, you know, that's, that's been a very similar experience for many people who've come and joined in with this community. There's an idea of what it would be like to be in community. And there's an idea of it, and yet it's not always the experience immediately. You know, or it's not always um, what's there because there's there's other blocks in the mind, or there's still an identity there that's that's in operation, and and so it's just step by step, moment by moment, and and also being very patient. I think just trusting that there is a, a loosening happening, and if you just keep offering your willingness. That's the most that you can do, the willingness to be of service and the willingness to, to forgive and allow and, and open up. And trusting then that the Holy Spirit is actually the one who's, I'd say, in charge of the whole healing. And for me to be told that at the beginning was very, very helpful because I was used to thinking I was the one in control of my life, you know, that I had the power to you know, do what I wanted and make myself happy and and when it came to this awakening I realized that I'm not the one in control. No. I can't personally make myself be the way that I want to be. That's still an ego sense of, you know, trying to lead in some way. It's a constant coming back to this humbleness you know, and all you can offer is your willingness and trust that that there is a transformation taking place. You know, and if you're asking and you're willing to listen and follow, then you're doing your part. And I always think of like the the mystics and the saints. You know, they would go off into caves for decades, decades. You know, so this desire to awaken is beautiful. And yet the time it takes, you know, the, the process and the undoing is not something that there is any personal control over. And if there is any personal, you know, 
pushing or wanting even for an outcome of some kind then that is going to simply block our awareness of being carried and shown by the Holy Spirit moment by moment because it is very much a surrender it's very much a surrender so I join with you in in the trust you know, in the trust that what you have experienced and brought to the light so far has all served you and what you're bringing to the light now and your willingness now is also going to serve you and every moment that you were willing to be of service was received you know your willingness was received by the Holy Spirit and so don't be disheartened that you've maybe tried something and it didn't seem to work it's more just staying so open to what is it now Holy Spirit uh, I'm willing to be shown Mm. Oh, you're very welcome. It's a deep journey.